Moliere's Clear provides sustainable, chemical-free water treatment to improve water quality and treat the root cause of algae blooms, midge flies, bat odor, fish kills and muck in ponds, lakes, and irrigation basins. To begin the installation of the clear, locate a five foot by five foot open area of level ground near the water body and the power source to install the unit. Carefully, select a clear installation location based on the recommendations in the installation and startup guide. Confirm that pipe lengths, pipe diameters, and the vertical distance between the intake screen and the base of the clear are within specified limits. Refer to the electrical documentation to determine the power requirements for your unit. Always adhere to state and local laws and regulations when installing power near water. Consult a licensed electrician. The install will require the following parts and tools, plus a shovel and gravel. Each installation may vary. Start with the pipe assembly. Measure the pipe to the required length. Cut the pipe using the proper tools. Use only Schedule 40 PVC pipe and fittings. Attach the pipe connections using PVC primer and cement. Pipe connections must be airtight and leak-proof. Allow for proper cure time to lapse before filling the system with water. The use of 45-degree or 90-degree fittings may be required to submerge piping on steep lake banks. The intake structure consists of the intake screen and stand. Assemble the intake structure. Ensure the check valve is installed with the flow arrow in the direction of suction flow so as not to restrict flow from the water body to the pump. When attaching the intake basket to the stand, make sure the check valve is positioned correctly with the hinge at the top. Use available fittings as necessary to route the suction piping from the clear to the water body. Do not remove the bell end of the PVC pipe. The bell end serves as a coupling for connecting straight pipe segments. Ensure that the intake screen location is free of weeds and debris. Do not locate the intake screen in an area where leaves or other floatable debris tend to accumulate. Where possible, locate the intake several feet, a couple of meters, from shore and no less than two feet deep. The discharge pipe should be installed at the deepest part of the water body, no less than three feet deep. Plug the unit into a dedicated weather-resistant receptacle. The use of an extension cord is hazardous and must be avoided. For initial startup, open the enclosure of the unit by lifting the latch hasp and opening the lid and double leaf doors. Remove the lid from the pump strainer basket by turning it counterclockwise. Use a hose or bucket to fill the basket until water begins spilling into the inlet pipe. Attach the pump strainer basket lid by carefully positioning it over the O-ring and turning the lid clockwise. Turn the clear on by holding down the start button. Check the pump is self-priming by verifying that water is coming out of the suction pipe. Self-priming may take several minutes. Once the pump is primed, the compressors will activate to initiate gas flow. Run the system for 10 minutes and then check the strainer basket for debris. If debris has accumulated, turn the system off and clean out the basket. The system may be turned off via the red disconnect switch. Repeat the previous steps until the strainer basket is free of debris after 10 minutes of continuous operation. If there are bubbles entering the strainer basket after 10 minutes of continuous operation, turn off the system and check the suction piping for leaks. Shut the double leaf doors and lid to close the system. Turn the clear on and observe the suction and discharge locations in the water body. The intake should not create a vortex at the surface. If a vortex is visible, the intake screen is not properly submerged. Verify that the intake screen is resting on the floor of the water body. If needed, extend the suction pipe to position the intake screen in a deeper location of the water body. The bubble pattern visible at the surface is normal. It is a result of the excess gas used in the nanobubble generation process. Moliere, advancing nanobubble technology.